What's going on, guys? Your boy Terabyte Reacts here, back with another Rome Reactions. And if you guys still don't know about what's going on on the channel, um, let me say it here because it affects these videos um, more than anything else on the channel. I don't have um, any more reactions um, other than these two last episodes that I'm going to post um, of season two. There's not be any more um rome reactions on the channel because um some of the videos got copyright strike and i i just kind of felt like hbo was coming for me so every series that had to do with hbo that i had posted on youtube i have taken them down i have taken them down they're not going to be anywhere else because i didn't even bother because i think the best thing I could have done at that point was to just delete the videos. I don't save my reactions, okay, um, unless they're on the Google Drive. Um, they're not saved, okay. So anything I put, you see me post on YouTube that you can actually watch the reaction on YouTube. It's not saved. I don't have that kind of time to be saving something that's that's already on a platform that I can get it back from. Now the reason why I delete the videos okay the reason why I deleted the videos was because I felt pressured I got two copyright strikes in the space of 24 hours so if I was gonna take my time to download the videos would have taken a longer time than me having to just delete them and I felt like maybe in the next six hours six to twelve hours or so I was gonna lose my channel so I decided to just delete all the, the Rome videos and all the Game of Thrones reactions that I had on the channel. I've also addressed this in the past. I said if they come for me, I will not hesitate to take those videos down immediately. Because if you guys want to know more about the situation, how I felt about it, make sure you go ahead and check out my last update video that I talked about this. Okay, so let's jump into this reaction. So basically this basically is this one episode 9 and episode 10 is the only one that's going to be on the channel if anybody asks I'm just basically doing this for who, who's already here um, basically um, I'm going to be doing a review of the entire series of course um, you know, I'm talking about why I think they should have continued the series because I think this series could have probably ended up being the Game of Thrones instead of the Game of Thrones, and because they 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 messed up Game of Thrones so bad at the end, you know what I'm saying? And I think you know with a difference and to the way how this show was going with the um, with the way how they were doing the pacing and the storytelling, it was very good. Um, Game of Game of Thrones started out really good, just like this one, but there were so many more fans of Game of Thrones, as in it's coming from very good source material, as in they had books to go off of. With Rome, not so much, so it's basically their creation, you know what I'm saying? It's basically, they, yes, they have history, but it's basically would be their creation, the producers, the writers, it would be their creation of the events that happened because nobody really knows what happened yes history is written we get it but there's so many things because you there's nobody alive that was there you know what i'm saying there's nobody alive right now that was there that could say yo this is what it was like nobody was really there you basically just have to believe whatever is written in history who knows you know what I'm saying? Like the stuff like people that were in power and stuff like that may be accurate, but the events leading up to certain things, you can basically write whatever you want <laughs> in between. Right. So um, if you guys are not familiar with the format that I usually use for my for my reactions. OK, um, because, you know, if you if you're just watching Rome on the channel, what I usually do for my reactions that I can't post on YouTube is. I do an intro, then you'll see a screen come up after I finish my intro telling you go watch the reaction and then I come back here to do my review. Now it's not the best format in the world, um, but it works for me because um, 
the less things I have on YouTube, the less problems I'm going to have. I don't have time to deal with YouTube and their copyright foolishness. So I just post my stuff outside. Um, I give you guys two options. You can watch it on the Google Drive video or you can watch it on a site called BitChute, which is there's no monetiz monetizations over there. I don't even think the site is based in America. Okay. So, um, so in a way we kind of escape with a lot over there because there's no monetization. There's no demonetization. There's no nothing like that over there. There's options where you can donate to the site if you want to help them out. We don't know how long this site is going to be around for who knows, you know what I'm saying? Because it's free you can upload. It, it's only going to be a matter of time before they're going to need more support so they can have bigger server better cloud service and all of this other stuff hopefully they don't go in the route of youtube um hopefully they keep their standards and stuff like that over there because it's a really good site i like to use the site i like to be able to upload without having to worry about all of this other stuff you can go there you can watch it um also i want to address that there's a lot of people who can't really watch my stuff on google drive Okay, so that's why I have two options. Okay, you can go to BitChute. If none of these work for you, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know that none of these two are working for you. Okay, I'm going through all of this. I don't care how long it's going to take me because I want you to know that I'm still here. I'm still going to finish up this series. Um, you know, if you guys have not seen episode eight, I'm going to be uploading the four parts that I had on YouTube. I'm going to be uploading that because it's the only one that I still had on my computer. All the other ones, I've deleted them. As I said, I don't save reactions. So, um, so I'm not going to go over what went on in the last episode because let's just jump into the episode and then we come back here and we'll talk about it right here on YouTube. So you watch the episode, you come back here on YouTube to watch the review okay so link is down in the description whichever one works for you okay whether it be the google drive or whether it be bit shoot okay let me know if it does if none of them work for you and we can work something out um maybe i'll put them on youtube and put it put it as unlisted and i'll send you guys a link you guys can go ahead watch it and then i'll be able to delete it after probably you know 24 hours or something like that so we'll, we'll we'll work something out okay guys so um so you guys can enjoy the reactions only two episodes left so let's just jump into this episode and i will see you guys right back here for the review All right, so here we are with season two, episode nine review of Rome, and I have to say that episode was really good. Um, one of the best episodes of the season, in my opinion. Um, the pacing was unbelievable. I don't know. I, I know this is a trope now where people talk about pacing, and the reason why people talk about pacing so much when they're doing reviews or talking about an episode or a show because pacing is extremely important. See, if you're watching TV, right, if you're watching TV or whatever it is you're watching and you're like falling asleep, then you know the pacing is not good. If you if 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 the thing start out really good, right, it starts out really good, like first 10 episodes, first 10 minutes fire and then you have a whole hour of just not interesting stuff going on in the middle of of the episode or whatever you're watching that's why we talk about pacing because when pacing is good that simple means that the entire thing is good it's it's the, the step by step motion from the first second third act it's it's a it's a seamless motion that never takes you out of the show that's why pacing is so important that's why we talk about it so much um i love to talk about pacing because i am not afraid to fall asleep if something is is boring me <laughs> so that's what it is okay so 
um so this episode man from beginning to end was very intriguing every single thing that they showed on screen was very intriguing every single conversation was important um except for the sec i mean the sex scenes was a bit much <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so threw me for a loop there because it got way out of hand the octavian with his wife like that was a straight up look like they were doing something <laughs> you know so that was crazy but anyways it was cool to see the dynamic um the, the results uh, obviously mark and cleopatra now has two kids together yeah two kids uh, so there was a time skip um, between last episode and this one. So, so definitely, definitely, I see how things are going to shape up. Are they really going to go to war in the last episode of the season? Who knows? Um, if they're just going to skip over the whole battle thing and just show the results of it, I would be cool with that too. They gave us a really good battle this season um, that I really liked. Uh, I think I don't remember which, what episode it was. That was a really good episode, the one where the, with the war. I don't remember what episode it was, but it was really good. That episode, definitely the best episode, um, I would say, in the season, so far. Still, um, this one was really good. The whole situation with Atia and Octavia going to Egypt, and they got turned away. They didn't even get to see Mark, and it's it's. It, at this point in, in in time, like for them to for him to be gone that long and she's still holding on to that, like the, she must know that he has kids because these you know you know what I'm saying she must know he has kids um, with Cleopatra by now. Like it's it's time for Atia to move on from from that f from him from having love for him and it took you know even even though. Octavian might have had ulterior motives for sending her there. He still he still wanted her to realize who this guy is, which is don't get me wrong, Mark Anthony is one of my favorite characters in the show. Um not because he's a quote unquote good person or great person, he's just a great actor. So I love every scene he's in. Um but this path that he's been going down on, I think is a dangerous path. I think he just, he really wants to rule Rome, but he's just not a good person to be in that position. You get what I'm saying? So when it comes on to um, Octavian, he plays games just like everybody else, just like any politician plays games. He does it, but he does it brilliantly. He does it two, three steps ahead of people. And also the fact that he can still be caught off guard with certain things, but he rallies so quickly because he have, um, what's his name? Masius? Uh, what's the name of that dude? That pretty boy that's always with him is that visor. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like they catch on to things really quickly once they hear the news and they ha always have, um, um, a plan, you know, Pasca brought them the will. So they kind of got an insight into who Anthony is. Anthony is or what he has become over the time that he's been in Egypt he's basically denounced Rome in his will you know what I'm saying and also having Caesarian um, being placed as king of Rome once they die so they already was planning to go to war because that's the only way Caesarian was going to be king of Rome like how else was this going to happen if you wasn't planning to overthrow the um the, the the um the the what you call it the the the, the matriarchy <laughs> whatever of of um of you know Caesar you know what I'm saying um it doesn't look like he has any kids yet though Octavian and his it doesn't look like they have any kids time has passed I mean you would think that he would have a couple of them running around we all know that the kid um that Octavia has it's a possibility that it's that it is that it does belong to to Mark, but it also could be Agrippa's child. So that there's again, I was forgetting. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be any one of them. Or did she? Nah, because they left after. It was af 
they were still together after the fact. I don't remember exactly the order of things, um, how how it went down. I don't remember exactly, but um, the way how things are going right now with Venus over there, Venus kind of giving Cesarean some history lessons about his dad. That's per, that was pretty cool. I love I love that scene um, with him and the kid. Um. What else happened in the episode? We um, we also need to talk about the situation with Pulo. Um, you already know my feelings towards that. The kids still believe until this day that Verena's killed their mother. Um, as I said, man, it's it was indirectly. He didn't mean to kill Niobe. You see how during that scene, how much he hesitated. He was just so upset about the situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't think. In my opinion, I think if she didn't throw herself off the balcony, I don't think Verenus would have killed her. I think you probably would have probably hated her, hated her. And you know what I'm saying? But I don't think he would have killed her. You know what I mean? So towards so many things that happened in the episode, man, um, old girl admitting that she killed Irene and also how Polo finished her off. Um, those things were warranted, you know what I mean? Like the scenes with Octavian and all the scenes with him were brilliantly, uh, um, shot of all the scenes in, 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 in this episode was brilliantly shot. I loved every minute of it. Them complaining about the Egypt son woman. We complain about that all the damn time. <laughs> okay. Um, so if it's a little bit cooler over there in Rome, cause I know y'all ain't got no AC over there. What they complaining about everywhere was hot back in the day. And I know Rome must have been hot, cause Italy, it, 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 Italy is not, is it's not freaking cold in Italy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It may be cooler though. I think they do have cooler temperatures over there than what we experience over here, cause we're a little bit closer to the equator, um, than they are. Okay. Um. So usually. In, you know you have it's cooler temperatures over there i know it's cooler over there but it's still they didn't have ac ac you know what i'm saying like it's not like they don't need ac during the summer they're not like england where it's like it gets super cold over there you know what i mean so um at least i've never I, i've never been to italy during the winter so I shouldn't even be talking about this because I really don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if it snows there. Does it snow in Italy? I don't know. I don't know. But I have been to their part of town during the summer. Yeah, but I've never been there doing it. I don't even know if it snows there, to be honest. So maybe I shouldn't be saying anything because maybe it does get cold sometimes over there. So who knows? You know what I'm saying? Every time I've seen anything concerning Rome... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always real sunny. So I'm thinking sun year round. So if it does snow in there, you guys can put it in, in the comment section, even though I don't think so. I don't believe so. But if it does, I mean, I could Google it. But if it does, you guys can let me know if it snows in Italy. I really don't know. So, um, but they should have cooler temperatures than we do over here. So, yeah, especially um jamaica jamaica got some real weird ass temperatures in it <laughs> so i'll see you guys later man thank you guys for tuning in of course as always man i thank you guys so much um hope you guys don't mind the new format too much hope you don't come at me in the comment section too much about the format okay hope you guys enjoyed as i said before just let me know if you can't see any of them and we will work something out so you can view the episode and i can put your opinion on this video Okay, so thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will see you guys next time for the final episode of my Rome Reactions. See you guys later. Peace.